You see the smoke is starting to come off the seeds now. For me, that's enough right there. Now we start getting it going in the Vitamix. The seeds are smoking hot in there right now. You can see the smoke coming off of it. What we've got in there now is just powder. Galangal is a lot firmer than ginger and it's completely different aromatically. So we kind of trim it. As long as just most of the outer skin is off, that's great. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just the galangal up. Galangal in there. We're gonna throw the garlic in there. Normally when you make uh, Thai green curry use Asian shallots, but for today I'm just going to use regular shallots. Just clean the shallots off a bit. Throw the shallot in there. We we'll then grab a few of the kefir vine leaves. You just roll them up like this, and then. You slice them. And you take the pieces and throw them in with all the rest of the stuff in there. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some of this lemongrass. And what I do with the lemongrass is I kind of beat it, to start releasing some of the spices in there, some of the oils rather. What I do is I cut the end of it off and then it makes it a lot easier for peeling and I peel it down to about where it starts getting white this stuff is as tough as nails but boy does it ever smell good so this isn't like you know on television shows where all the stuff is like cleaned away and it's all nice and clean because nobody's kitchens really like that right there's mess everywhere I get these little devils up here and we slice them Really fine. Lemongrass is really pithy. Ginger has a lot of threads in it, tough threads. Lemongrass has the same thing. And if you don't get it really cut fine, then the Vitamix won't be able to blend it down to where it's a paste and you don't notice the, the pith. So we're gonna throw this in the Vitamix. Now we're gonna have some layer cake shiraz. Because this is when I have to start working with the uh, green chilies. When you have to work with green chilies, you need some straws. Mmm, oh, great. Now, as part of the, as chefs call it, the mise en place, the preparation for the making of the curry, we need to get the stems off the end of the chilies. See at the end there's a stem? Breaks away easy, you put the chili in there, stem is toast. For me, these little beauties give the curry real oomph. So you don't have to use a lot of paste. You just take the paste, mix it with coconut milk, and then you can add chicken, beef, fish, whatever you want to it. Now these Thai green chilies, if you get them fresh, these are seeds in this thing are as hot as hell. They're not the hottest pepper in the world, but they're not lacking some power. And these ones are fresh. Woo, mother. Ooh. I made it, so I'm pretty happy about it.